Hello everyone, welcome back to TechTo.com. In this video, we have we will be solving this problem where we have been given two schedules S1 and S2. So basically, this problem is from concurrency control, and we have to find out whether this these schedule are recoverable or not. Okay, so we have following options, and we have to find out which one is correct. Fine. Now, what I have done here is I have uh, represented this schedule in tabular form. So as it is given let's say it, it is r1x I have represented this I mean r1 means this is from transaction 1 on schedule s1 which is doing a read operation on x okay so I have written these two transactions separately t1 and t2 and this is rx means it is doing read on x okay now similarly I have arranged according to time manner so uh, you must be knowing that this is like increasing order of time fine now we have to find out which one is recoverable okay so we have to find out that if a transaction fails there should not be any problem after rolling it back okay so the problem is here if you see in this s1 this is right on x okay this is right on x fine and this x is again again read by transaction t2 here so this is read on x fine now let's say this transaction this transaction t1 fails at this point at this point when i'm saying this point so it means that after this commit this transaction is failing t1 okay so if t1 is failing here the value of x which was produced by basically transaction t1 is failing and it is will it will be restarted okay okay so now this transaction t2 which has used this value is already committed so it cannot be recovered right so this wrong data has been already committed okay all has has been already read and used okay so this uh, this whole schedule is not recoverable okay because if transaction fails here at this point we cannot recover the data as this this has been already committed now let's go to s2 so let's find out where is read write issue in this given schedule so first one is see this is here this transaction is writing and again this is reading fine so when t2 is reading something written by t1 t2 should not commit first so see it is not committing okay so as even if let's say transaction is failing at certain point let's say it is failing here so if transaction t1 is failing here so none of them are committed okay so this will also roll back this transaction will also be cancelled if it is failing here now let's say if it is failing here at this point okay then also there is no problem this transaction I mean this I mean it is already committed so if it is failing it will be rolled back okay but this transaction which which had earlier produced the value of x has has been already committed okay so there is no case of inconsistency or data corruption fine so this schedule is recoverable so s1 is not recoverable while s2 is recoverable so here in this option S2 is recovery, so this one is correct option.